Hi, I'm Brian from Syntec Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL accounting system training. In today's lesson, we'll talk about purchase return or also known as purchase credit note. Let's go to SQL. We go to purchase module and you can see the purchase return is over here. Purchase return meaning that you have already purchased certain goods from your supplier and now you want to return them to your supplier. So when you come in, same as other transaction, you'll see the listing of all the purchase return. You can use different criteria to do the searching for a previous transaction. If you remember the purchase return number, just type over here at the purchase return number column or just simply key at the company name by using the company name to do the searching or you may just right click on any of the column title, field chooser and drag out any field that you want to use as a searching criteria for example attention just drag drop okay and if not just click on the new button to create a new transaction so over here same you just need to select the supplier by typing the name if you tell me Brian when I type nothing come up is because the focus is not at the company name it's at company name too so that's why what you need to do is clear off what you have typed click on the tab key on your keyboard tab you can see the focus jump to another column. It shift again, tap, and it go to company name. And now you can type. Okay, for purchase return, what you need to do is you can right click on the title. You can transfer from a purchase invoice or cash purchase. So let's say it's from a purchase invoice. Then you just click on the item that you want to return. Then just click OK. So you can see it is in green color. So after that, you just click on the save button. So the purchase return is saved. And then you can see that this purchase return SC00004 will actually post to the supplier credit note. It's over here. And you can see that there's one unapplied amount. That means the purchase credit note have not been knocked off with any invoice yet so what you need to do is you need to click on it and click on the edit then it will show you this document was pulled from the purchase return click yes and you need to knock off with one of the invoice only by doing this it will complete the cycle of a purchase a return or purchase credit note okay because it will reduce the outstanding to your supplier so you can also print out the purchase credit note or purchase sorry you just go to purchase purchase return you can also print out this document for your reference or send to your supplier but normally you need your supplier to send you the credit note so uh, that's all for today if you have time, do drop by at my Facebook. It's at facebook.com slash syntax technologies. Help me to like my page and you can get all the latest information regarding GST and SQL. You may also go to my website. It's syntax.com.my. Click on the YouTube and you can watch all the previous tutorial video. So once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.